man can make what he wants of himself if he truly believes that he must be ready for hard work and many heartbreaks. This is one of Thurgood Marshall's many famous quotes that describes how one must work hard and honestly. Thurgood Marshall was a well-known African-American lawyer who broke important racially unjust barriers and eventually became the first African-American Supreme Court Justice. One of the first things I would like to explain is an interesting fact about Marshall when he was very young. Marshall was originally named Thurgood, but then nicknamed himself Thurgood because his birth name was difficult to spell out over and over and over again. Ugh, I hate having to write my super long name a million times. I have an idea. I'll shorten it to Thurgood. Another fun fact I would like to share about Marshall is that he was rejected from the University of Maryland. He was rejected due to his race, as many schools were not racially integrated at the time. Hi, I'm sorry, but we don't accept people of your kind here. Oh man, but I'm smart. I'm sorry, no buts mister, get out, leave this facility. In addition to that, Thurgood Marshall fought and won the Brown v. Board of Education case in 1954. By winning this case, he helped African Americans take a huge step in their fight for equal rights by eliminating segregation in schools. I believe it is unjust to separately educate children based on their race. Furthermore, Thurgood helped create the first racially integrated school in Washington, D.C. He helped create a racially integrated school, taking his dedication to help end segregation beyond the courtroom. I helped create the first racially integrated school. I took my passion to end segregation beyond the courtroom. To sum it up, Thurgood Marshall fought and won the most tried cases before the Supreme Court. In addition to that, he was the Solicitor General of the U.S. and he became the first African American Supreme Court Justice. I have fought and won the most cases tried before the Supreme Court. I was the Solicitor General of the United States for two years. And then I became the first African-American Supreme Court Justice.